This series aims to inspire teachers and community centre managers to apply information technology in their teaching and learning environments. This is Sofunda High School, located in the township of Mthuzi, near Middleburg in Bomalanga. Sofunda has 1,570 learners in grades 8 to 12. In 2002, they were lucky enough to be the recipient of several computers from the Finnish Scope project, as well as from the Telkom Online project. Busi Kanyile is an educator at the school and is based in the new computer laboratory. We've got 30 computers, then in one server. Learners are using the 29 computers and the other one is, uh, is saved as a server. In this episode, Busi is teaching her grade 10 second language English learners. The computers are very much handy when it comes to language spelling and stuff because some of the learners, especially those who are doing computer typing, they know that when they have to, maybe they've written a word wrongly, they're not sure of the spelling, they know that they can go and check the spelling and the computer will assist them in that. She has divided her class up into groups of four and has planned a computer-based lesson that requires learners to do research using the internet. I think the internet is important. We're now living in the technologically era, so to say. Everything is like electronic now. We've got e-education. In the past, learners would go to the library to go for search for the information. But with the internet, it's easy for them. They can go to Google and check the information. And learners have to be able to identify information that is relevant. Sometimes learners get carried away, like they've gone to a particular site and then they've seen this information. Maybe they only look at the topic and then they tend to take everything that is written on it. It still needs us as teachers to help them to be able to identify what is relevant. Bosi has also asked her learners to use Encarta Encyclopedia to do some research. Encarta is software that can be installed off a CD-ROM onto your computer. It contains information and multimedia elements. Busi gave her class the topic communication. The class was required to research the topic and then compile a document using Microsoft Word. They were required to compare their initial impressions on communication and their final ideas on completion of their research. We are going to show you how Busi used Encarta Encyclopedia and Internet Explorer for research. We will then show you how Busi's class recorded this information in MS Word using a table to show the comparison between their initial ideas and their research. Let's start by accessing Internet Explorer. Make sure that your computer is connected to the internet and if your school uses a modem, make sure it is switched on so that your computer can dial out and connect to the internet. Call up Internet Explorer by clicking on the blue E icon on the desktop. You can also find it by clicking on the Start button at the bottom left-hand corner of the screen and selecting All Programs followed by Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer is a program that deciphers information downloaded from the Internet in order to display it on your computer screen. You are also going to need a search engine to help you find information. A search engine is computer software that compiles lists of documents like those on the World Wide Web, as well as the contents of those documents. Search engines respond to a user entry or query by searching the internet and displaying a list of documents called websites that match a list of queries.
There are many different search engines like Yahoo, Anansi.co.za, Ask Jeeves or AJ.com, Excite and Dogpile. To find a search engine, you will need to visit its web address. Using Internet Explorer, go to the URL field. This is where you will be able to type in the address or location of the site that you want to find. Always make sure that your URL is preceded by the prefix HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. After this prefix, type in www.google.com and press enter. Busi's class inserted keywords into the search engine search field. In this instance, they typed in the word communication and then clicked on Google search. The search engine produced a list of sites that were related to their search criteria or keywords. They then read through the descriptions of the sites to find the ones that were relevant. To activate a website, simply click on the blue underlined text. The appropriate website appears. Now you can do your research. However, it is important that you and your learners understand that anyone is able to publish a website on the Internet. Not all information that you find on the Internet is accurate. It is often necessary to verify this information through other sources. That is why it is also recommended that your learners use Encarta Encyclopedia to search for information. They could also use the library to cross-check their research. To access Encarta once it has been loaded onto your computer, click on the Start button on the bottom left-hand side of your screen, click on All Programs and then select Microsoft Encarta. This tutorial uses the standard 2004 version of Encarta. Go to the Find field at the top left-hand corner of the screen and enter your keywords. In this instance, Busi's class used the word communication. Once you've typed in your keyword, press the Go button. A long list of articles and drawings about communication will appear in the main window on the screen. Scroll down to read through this list and choose an article that is relevant by clicking on it. Read through the article and make notes, or simply print the page by clicking on File and then selecting Print from the submenu. A print window opens which gives you the option to print only the text in the article or the article with all its pictures and associated media. Make a selection and press Print. A third way of saving the information is to copy it and then paste it into a new document in Microsoft Word, for example. Make sure that your learners state where the information came from as well as who wrote the article in order to avoid plagiarism. Plagiarism involves copying what someone else has written and trying to pass it off as your own original material. To copy the text from Encarta, make a selection by clicking your right mouse button and dragging your cursor across the relevant piece. Then right-click and select Copy from the submenu. Copy window appears with an option to copy the whole article or just the selected text. Choose an option and press OK. You should now be able to paste this information into MS Word. Right-click on your document where you want the information placed and select Paste from the submenu. Once the learners gathered all their information, they put together a Word document to show what they had learned. To open Microsoft Word, press the Start button in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. Select All Programs, then Microsoft Office, and then Microsoft Word so that a new blank page opens. Type in a title for the project. In this case, Busi's class typed in the word communication. Format this title using the formatting toolbar at the top of the screen. Now insert a table. To do this, select Table from the top menu. Select Insert and then Table from the submenu. A table window appears in the middle of the screen. 
It will ask you how many columns and rows you would like to insert in your table. Add two columns and two rows and click on OK. Two rows and two columns in a table format will appear on the page. Click inside the first column to begin typing. Label this row Initial Ideas. You can format the text inside the table as you did with your heading. Now click in the cell to the right of the heading. You can also easily insert clip art into this row. Go to the Insert menu, select Picture and then Clip Art. A clip art window appears. Enter a word in the Search For field to find a picture you would like to use. Select the picture and it will appear in the column where you placed your cursor. Encourage your learners to enter their initial ideas about the topic in this row. In the second row, type in the heading Research. Now type in the information you have found in the Research column. Once Boosie's class were done, they saved their documents and printed them so that they could present their findings to the rest of the class. I think they are so great. I mean, they help you get some knowledge and, yeah, you get to interact with people from other countries and I think they are so, so great. I love them so much. It has helped me a lot because now, learning is now an uh, interesting course. Uh, learning using computer, it's very easy. I think they are helping the school so much because most of our students have changed their, their attitude of learning and they, they have benefited a lot of knowledge from these computers. I must say, since the arrival of the computers in, in my school, we have had so many changes. Our learners are very much excited. So each time we, when we, we, we have to bring them in, we have to think of something that would be exciting and at the same time, we'll make them learn something. Mrs. Busi Kanyile's lesson was specifically focused on her high school second language class, but the skills demonstrated can be used in any subject and has applications outside a school context. The internet and interactive encyclopedia are excellent gateways to information.